let's see how we can add some illumination effects in ARCHICAD by using the Cineware Render Engine. Now, there I have actually tried to use some light is getting emitted from the text which is written. So for this, what I have designed with is one closed room uh, which do have that text and the other lights. Now remember, adding the door window uh, may affect to the internal view. So I just for the sake of explanation, I am doing this. Now if you just check out, this is how the box is going to look like and my text is written inside this. Okay, and if you get if you arrange the internal view, this is how my internal view is supposed to be. Now, what I have done, I have added two text objects over here by using the object tool. You can check out in the object tool, I have designed one text line and uh, which do have some kind of a surface as a copper, and the other one which again I have kept just behind of that is nothing but I have generated one more surface known as a backlit glow. So we will talk about this backlit glow surface, uh, how we have to design this and how to set the parameters. Now apart from that if you check there is some gap between my wall and this particular surface. The wall which I have generated over here is nothing but uh, it do have some kind of a internal surface as a granite gray which do have a small slight reflection property. So, if I uh, render this all together, uh, you can check out this is how it will look without any illumination. And for that, uh, what are the settings which we have done? So, if I go and check out in my uh, say surfaces, uh, the basic again remember the basic engine you don't have to much worry, but in your Cineware render engine, uh, there is a color which I am using which do have a shade as a yellow. And then apart from that, uh, my other channels were are not in use. So this was the basic surface and as I have said after rendering, you might even get the effect like this kind of effect you will get, which there is no kind of a illumination from the surface. Now to achieve this uh, in a better manner, what probably I can do, I can start little bit playing with this values available over here. Say for example. Now along with the color, if I work with the luminance option and if I on this channel, you can see the kind of a brightness added to the main surface. Okay, So that means the ambient part of the surface is getting removed and it looks like as if the object is self glowing. Now if you try to say ok and if you render this display, what will happen? Now be careful, at the time of render the settings which you have to uh, talk about is nothing but you should try to uh, work with uh, what you can see detail setting option on and your global illumination uh, should be on also in this particular setting. Along with that using sunlight is not mandatory but using lamp and illuminating surface is a mandatory part. So be careful about these two settings we have kept on and then proceed for the render, only then you will start getting such effects you know, in your current display. Now if you uh, if you check that this rendered uh, after rendering, the earlier text uh, effect is now a bit improved in the sense a side, sort of a uh, luminance factor is added to the uh, text, okay. So uh, that is nothing but uh, this is what you used to have earlier and now this is what uh, you have achieved at present. Now let's try to uh, work further. Uh, in that case now what I am going to do is, I am just going to go back to the surfaces. Here uh, if you remember the brightness value, if I increase, this will just improve the overall appearance of the surface to be bright or dull. Okay, for the luminance option, it is not going to generate any light uh, emitted from the surface on the surrounding area. So this is nothing but your solely need of the uh, brightness to be get shown inside the surface. Okay, this is not actually going to immediately relevant for your emitted light. So let's try to work for that also. I'll keep it hundred again for a while. If you go and check out the last channel that is lumin uh, illumination, 
So elimination is the last channel and which is nothing but you should make sure that generate GI. GI is a global elimination which is on and there are supposed to be generate GI strength and there is a generate GI saturation. So these are the two values which you can play with. Other things can be kept as they are. If you can surely try with them also. Now remember the values which I am adjusting over here. They are just meant for my current render scene and suitable for that. So it depends on the number of light surfaces and other things. So uh, just don't go and try to make yourself so rigid that if I put 100 over here, that means that's the correct value. It's a part of your practice. So now if I go and try to say generate GI strength and if I if I adjust this value, maybe if I put this as a 200, you can see a slight variation which is nothing but applicable on the outer side of this particular uh, area. You can check out this is now becoming brighter. So same if I put this further as a 500, you can see what is happening. So you can see more brightness is getting uh, delivered on the outer face. But the color yellow is not getting generated. So even if I put this as a thousand, you can see it is actually becoming too bright outside, but it is still not giving me the yellow color to be get emitted from the surface. So what I'm going to do, I'll just go back to and keep this for a while as a 200 itself. Okay, where there's a slight illumination. Now that is nothing but uh, illumination is for the generate uh, strength is supposed to be 200. Now the saturation, that is nothing but a kind of a amount of that color which is getting emitted in a simple language I can see. So here I will put uh, some value like 100 and you will see this now change. You can see now the yellowish changes occurring around with this. So if I put this further, maybe if I put this as a 500, you can see how it actually is uh, becoming more stronger on the outer part. So this is how one has to keep on adjusting these values and get the effect. Now if I say okay and if I just go and uh, with that previous settings which I have told you, if I start re-rendering this display, you will see now the improvements are there. So remember this is solely part of a practice. It's not something hard and fast thing that these are the only values which will make you comfortable and all those things. Now, for example, now in this rendered output, you can see that still the backside uh, word uh, with, that is hello word is not becoming that bright the way you expect. So for that reason, I just have to go back to my surfaces and here if I go in the luminance option instead of 100, I will make it as a 200. So my surface is actually becoming more bright. Okay. Now this may affect so to your other things. So if I keep this as a zero, you will see that then there is a lot of change. There's no kind of elimination occurring from this surface. So luminance and illumination, uh, this can work a little bit hand in hand. So I'll keep it 200. I'll say okay for this. And uh, this is what you have achieved with the earlier 100 effect. Now you can just go and re-render this display. And this is how I think one should keep on trying to adjust the uh, illumination and luminance values so that uh, somewhere you will come to the desired effect in your render display. Uh, I hope you have understood the topic uh, to the required extent. Please try this with some other uh, elements. Maybe you just try to put some tube lights or you can put some other objects. But uh, remember the important part is uh, clubbing with the uh, say your um, environment uh, effect then the sunlight and the uh, other surfaces will affect to your entire rendering so please keep on trying the different uh, what you can see conditions and try to get the best effect out of your uh, rendered output i hope you have understood me things to the required extent. So this is what we have achieved.